Hey there, so just a quick clip on how to add um, microhorizal fungi to your seedlings. I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to save a good bit of money because that stuff isn't isn't cheap. Um, I really really like microhorizal fungi and uh, microhorizal fungi is actually basically um, fungi that um, form kind of secondary roots onto your plants. Um, it's like any kind of fungi that you might see in the soil which is actually the fruiting body um, but it's actually the, the, the mat below it is what we're interested in uh, for, for this for this project um, so what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to quickly show you how to do uh, how to add them to seedlings how to add them to uh, seed trays and also how to add them to um, actual when you know plants when you actually transplant them so we'll have a quick look. So guys, this is what we are talking about. It's a root grow. It's a microhorizal fungi mix. Um, it's basically made by the Royal Horticultural Society. Uh, this is a charity. Um, you know, so do buy your stuff off them. Uh, you can just get it on the internet. Um, now the only thing with, with this root growth, it says here, um, it does not work on brassicas, rhododendrons, azaleas, heathers, cranberries or blueberries. Uh, I know for a fact that brassicas don't like too much fungi, so that's that's the reason for that. I'm not too sure about the others, but um, I'm sure it's probably the same reason, so don't use them on those plants. And pretty much any other plant you can use this stuff on. Now, I'd say there's about 80-85% of all plants form these um, these uh, symbioses with these kind of these kind of mushrooms, these fungi. So it's fairly safe to put on. Um, any any kind of seed or root but in order for us to save money on this what we're going to do is we're going to use a tiny tiny amount and we're going to add it to um, our lettuce which is actually the oak leaf lettuce in this case and um, so I just take a seed packet and I've prepared a little bit here on the stone and I'm just gonna grind it down So I just get the, the dust itself and all I've got to do is add it to my hand and as soon as this comes in contact with the seeds and they start germinating the spores will also germinate and they'll, they'll create this kind of secondary root system um, and we all know that the bigger the root system the bigger our crops will be so this is the idea. Um, now if you were to use, if you were to put that you know maybe this quantity into maybe a spoonful of it into a hole with each plant you would actually use up quite a lot of this this stuff and it's quite expensive 725 but in this way it will last you for years you know so you can actually cut down on the, the actual cost of it and then all you got to do now you can actually wet them as well a little bit just to make sure there's more contact of them but it's not necessary at all and all you got to do is sprinkle on your your seeds so just to be on the total safe side what I would do is just dust it on a little bit on the actual area where the seeds actually lie before I cover them with with the earth you know Now another quick thing that I'd like to show you is say if you had already um, like a pumpkin plant, which I have one here, so I have a tray here, so you could either add it onto the actual bottom of it, um, okay the, the actual roots haven't come through yet, so if the roots were to come through you could actually just rub it on gently onto them. Or when you actually transplant them, just take that one out really carefully. You could rub a little bit of this powder onto the actual roots, you know. And again, you're saving money because you're not going to use so much. And to be honest, you don't need you don't need lots of this stuff, you know. And all I need is just a smidgen of it, a very small amount. And I just touch the, the bottom of the roots with this. And as soon as I transplant this, I mean, I'm not going to transplant it now, but that's just an example. As soon as I transplant it, 
and it will within about two or three weeks uh, will actually form these secondary roots and you know especially if I'm liquid feeding or you know have mulch added the, the fungi will actually go into the mulch layer and start you know digesting um, all that mulch and taking up the liquid feed and giving it actually to the plants so all in all a good method and um, I hope you liked it and I see you next week